guys, Becky here and welcome back to the channel. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm in the nether and I am wondering that too and I will explain briefly just once I figure out where this ghast is. <laughs> where the hell is it? Okay, well I don't see it. But anyways, we are in the nether because if you have- well I don't know who's recorded about it, I, I'm pretty sure Debbie has and I think Nitro and Seth aka Panda have. So essentially what happened is we have been looking for a jungle on the server for so long and then one of our new members, Nitro and Seth, who was only- like, oh god, was only just barely less new than him, found a jungle. Uh, it's quite far away so they built a nether hub to it and then they decided to prank a bunch of the logical SMP members. So, excluded from this prank were me and Jelly Julie, who's online. So, if you don't know about our new members, Jelly Julie, Nitro Games, and Deranged Panda. I almost called him Exotic Panda. <laughs> and Deranged Panda have been in SMPs together, so they like already know each other. So, it's kind of like the me, Debbie, Wadi situation. And so, what they did was they took a bunch of parrots <laughs> home from this jungle, didn't tell us that they found the jungle. And they brought them and they hid them under a bunch of people's houses. So I was excluded from this prank. I have no clue why. <laughs> Mostly because I just I was just really curious about it. And they were like, yeah, don't go to Panda's house. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm literally going to Panda's house. <laughs> and so I guess my nosiness just excluded me from the prank. So I didn't get anyone's parrots in my basement. But they also said that the gift was from me as well. <laughs> So I am one of the pranksters without actually having done anything. Now, so as you can see, we um, have gone into the jungle and it's actually huge. Like this is such a big jungle. Debbie found her prank already and we've been to the jungle a few times. We were searching for ocelots for an hour. And I found one when I first got here, but I haven't found one since. So we don't have any cats, but we have fish just in case. Now, what I'm doing right now is, even though I've been to the jungle a few times in Debbie's episode, I had two parrots, and then one of them died on the way coming home. So my first one is still at home. Well, he's already at home, and ooh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, I just... What the heck? Yeah, so my parrots are already at home, at least the one I have currently. And I'm going to be naming him Quinarius after a character from a book, excuse me. And then I brought another back with him and then it died <laughs> in the nether to a blaze because we have to go through, as you can see, like a nether fortress and stuff. And then just recently, Julie and I also came into the jungle because she needed to bring back birds that she already had and I needed to find another bird for to be like Quinarius's friend or like gay friend because you know breeding birds I guess <laughs> but yeah and then that friend also died in the nether and I was a lot closer to home than I was so I was quite upset so I left Julie in the nether and I've come here to find another which I just did hello bird so yeah, as you can see, we've definitely found a jungle and I'm so happy about it. I would have been so frustrated if no one found a jungle. However, the annoying part of the prank is they didn't tell us they found a jungle. <laughs> so literally, while they were like planning it out and like putting the parrots in people's homes, Debbie and I were literally exploring, trying to find a jungle. Because I mean, I already knew about the prank, but Debbie didn't. <laughs> and I was like, oof. And I kept dropping hits in the chat like, whoa, I really hope we find a jungle. <laughs> but yeah, no luck on most of our parts. Excuse me, bird. So yeah, so now I just need to bring this bird back. Which usually proves to be painful considering all these blazes. Whom I hate. Yeah, so when I brought Quinarius back, I actually ran out of food in the nether, and we have to walk, partially because our rails aren't done yet, but also because the birds won't, like, follow us as well in the rails. Can you stop? Where's my bird? Whoa. 
the hell is... Ah! So yeah, this is the stressful part. I hear it. But I don't know where he is. No! Where the hell is it? Oh, thank god he's on me. Okay. No! Not again! Oh no, I have such a good name for this one too. Ugh. Okay, so now we're going back. Literally, I'm so mad. <sighs> but yeah, so that's what we've been doing all day. Well, not all day, but we've been doing for a while. Is trying to bring back birds and trying to find ocelots, which have been like impossible. As I said, when I first got into the jungle, I found one like almost immediately. And then Debbie and I looked for an hour and we couldn't find any. So now I'm starting to think I was hallucinating that one. Also, like, stuff like the, the wood of the trees looks like ocelots. So many things look like ocelots. Okay, so... I am naming them from a naming scheme from a book series by Kate O'Hearn called... What is it called? It's called Valkyrie, which is the same author who wrote Pegasus, which I named the mystical forest child Joel after, because Joel is a very wholesome character whom I love. And... <laughs> And so I was going to name this set Quinarius, and then Quinarius is green, because Quinarius is, like, not a fairy, but, like, very similar. Um, and it's based on, like, North, Norse mythology, so. But yeah, so Quinarius was, is the green one, and he is at my home, patiently waiting for a friend. And then, wait, no, what color? Oh my god, Quinarius isn't green! <laughs> I don't have a green pair. Okay, I need to rethink my whole naming scheme. Okay, so I am going to call the bird there Sky after another character who's kind of fairyish because the bird I have at my home currently is like the really the light blue one with green and it's like really pretty. And then I'm going to try and bring back a green one and call it Quinarius. So I went through Archie who was a red macaw or whatever they're called. And then that blue one I was going to name Kai. I just had so many names from that book. It's a good series. And I read books for 12-year-olds because they're good. <laughs> I just want to find the bird. Do, 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 do. Yay. Do birds even, like, bird at night? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just going to stop. Oh, wait, whoa, I was going to say I'm going to stop recording until I find one, but hello, there it is. At this thing that I literally keep seeing. Yeah, so when I first came into the... Wait, I knew this was here. Oh, my God. But, yeah, there's been this parrot here at this, like, cavey thing that I found when I first got here, and I just kind of ignored it <laughs> because I didn't need a parrot. <laughs> And at the time I saw it, I had already had a green parrot. It just... Alright. Come here. Yay! Okay, yeah, so we're gonna take, hopefully, a lot more precautions this time. I don't want to necessarily walk home because it is, like, 16,000 blocks away. However, if this is my bird, I would scream. No, it's not. Okay. However... We're going to bring this bird back. I totally lost my bird. So. Oh, there he is. Hey. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Come here, bird. We're going to go this way. I don't see any blazes, so, so far, so good. And we could probably just snag these. Like this experience in this blaze rod from earlier. And then we're going to take my bird and hide. Did he go over? Did he go under? Where'd he go? That's problematic. Hello. Oh, great. Hey. 
He just teleported me. He was done with my BS. <laughs> Alright, bird. We made it past the hardest part. Now let's go. Yeah! What? Oh, right, yeah. So birds are kind of weird, the way they work, is because they will perch on your shoulder. Well, he's not on my shoulder, so I don't know what I'm doing. But you cannot jump in the spot or he will... No, 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 no. That is lava. He will... If I fall down one block, he will, like, freak out and leave. If I... Bird... I almost call him a dog. If I jump... He will count that as falling, and he will not like it. If I... I don't know. Can I shift? Yeah, I, I can shift. So you can go up blocks, but you cannot go down. So for all easiness, I'm just going to... No, I can't do that either. Okay. I was going to say for all easiness, I'd like to keep him on my shoulder, but it's... Probably impossible in most circumstances. God, that's so loud. Okay, I don't think he cares about me. Let's go, bird. Oh, I messed up. So yeah, if I do that, he will fall. Come here, bird. God, that freaking ghast. Oh, and I ran out of... Okay, so we can't mess around because I literally ran out of arrows, so I can do this though. This is fine, apparently. Alright, so let's just go up here and hopefully a bird won't die because that's depressing. They should make bird armor. I would make it for my lovely bird. Horse armor, I don't care about, because horses don't go anywhere dangerous. Actually, to be fair, the bird is literally, like, only in danger because I'm bringing him home. But once he's home, he's just going to stay home. Come here, baby. You can do it. Let's just finally go back. Maybe I could show you. Actually, no, it's probably far away. But yeah, I showed you where Seth's portal is in the last video. It's through there. And we are, if anyone's wondering, Seth is Panda. <laughs> and Panda is Seth. They are the same person. Alright, woo! We finally have our other parrot. Let's go. So. Um, we also have our new members, Nitro and Julie, who I mentioned earlier. Julie, I believe... I think she walked over to Lindy's house over there, but I don't think that's where her house is. I think she lives over with Seth and Nitro, and I'll show you Nitro's house in a bit. Nitro is probably AFK in the XP farm, but I don't think he was when I... Oh, no, there he is. Nitro Games. Yep, so we're going to visit his house because it's actually quite close to spawn, but I'm also going to show you a few changes I made to the XP farm. As you can see, I did the staircase finally. I made it all nice-ish and like, I don't know, just more cavey. It says has an arrow to XP farm and then this is all flattened out. As you can see, there's a door so you don't die. And I have a cactus to throw things out. I've got a chest of stone swords and then a chest of zombie drops. Uh, we did decorate the ceiling and the walls a bit, and then if you can see through here, I mean, I showed you this already, but now it goes even farther up so that there should be only, like, two hits. Sorry, Nitro, I'm just gonna snag some zombies from you. But yeah, so they're a lot quicker to kill, which is great. And then, yeah, so we'll just leave him be. But yeah, so they're a lot quicker to kill. And, yeah. But it also means that if anyone... I had to terraform this area right here. It used to be cut back a lot. If anyone blows up, like, around here, there will be pain. Uh, for them and for me, who has to rebuild it. I couldn't get it so that they had, like, just a one-block jump, because zombies are stupid. But... 
I mean, I couldn't get it so that you could just punch them, but I did get them so they are pretty easy to kill with um, Sweeping Edge, which is the new sword thing. Oh, I didn't know the bird would climb my... Who's barking? Yay! Two birds! And now, I can make them dance to creepy music! Ready? Bird, go over there. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so we've got Sky and Quinarius, and here's my, like, actual new items. I explained this in Debbie's video, and I don't know if she's going to cut it out or not, but Idiot Becca decided it would be fun to sleep in the nether just for the experience. <laughs> and then, so we did, and Seth and Nitro were just like, yeah, you'll be fine. I, I'm sure you won't die. You have, like, armor and stuff. And then I died immediately. They explained it like, oh yeah, the life flashed before her eyes. And I had like dug down like a few blocks previously just to make sure that it wasn't a really thin platform that led to lava. Instead though, there was one block of lava literally right next to where I was digging. Well, not right next to, but say I put my bed here. There was one block of lava like a few blocks down here. As soon as it blew up, the lava flew down. And, uh, yeah, consumed all my items, which kind of sucked because I had a diamond sword with looting too. I had just made a power five, power four, yeah, power five bow. And then my diamond pickaxe had, uh, fortune two, as you guys know. So, yeah, life kind of sucked a little, but it's not that hard of recovery. Also, what we found, which, bleh, also what we found, which was really cool was, well, it was kind of annoying at the time. But when I was in the jungle and I originally didn't bring fish, so I was fishing for fish. And then instead of a bunch of fish, I got this. Efficiency 4, Smite 4, Frostwalker 2. We're probably going to use the Frostwalker on that because that's the rarest. I don't know why I looked in there. So, yeah. It's okay, Sky is the blue one. Yay, Sky, Sky stop flying. Okay, I don't know where she's going. And then Quinarius. Yay. She's trying to leave. Yay, so we got our two birds, finally, and now I can just real quick show you where Nitro lives. I have no clue where Julie lives, though. <laughs> so as you can see, here is Nitro's home. It actually looks, like, pretty cute. Uh, he has a sugarcane farm going on here. Not automized, but that in a way where if you push the button, it would all harvest. So yeah, that happened. He's just living over here. He's got his nether portal there. I don't know where it connects to, and I don't really want to test it since I have no clue where it is. And then this is the inside of his, far his farm, his house. It looks pretty cute. And then he's got some armor stands going on here. Very nice. I'm actually quite happy with the way a lot of people's buildings are. Like, this is really cute, and I'm, I like what he did with the roof. That looks so cool. But yeah, so this is Nitro's house. I'd show you Julie's, but I have no clue where it is. But also, regarding these kind of things, uh, we talked about it a bit with Wadi and Debbie and, like, everyone else in the SMP, and we said automated farms are okay unless it's not an AFK fish farm or anything, like, equally as overpowered. Anyways, yeah, so eventually I'm probably going to try and get like an automated pumpkin farm and an automated sugarcane farm because then I can have a lot of pumpkin pie, which usually in vanilla I try and have as my main source of food because, I don't know, I just like it. And I used to play vegetarian Minecraft and it like gives you a lot of hunger bars. So my dog just sniffed out my door <laughs> like he snorted. That was fun. Tomorrow. Alright guys, so we are back, and I finally got a cat. Debbie and I have been exploring this freaking jungle for so freaking long. <sighs> and then, yeah, so I just got a cat. He was eating a whole bunch of, like, chickens over here. He was running away from me. And then I had to go eat originally. Like, see, here's where he killed the chicken. <laughs> I had to go eat, and then Debbie decided to, like, teleport in and like try and grab the cat before I could tame it. I did tame it before I went to eat dinner, but wow, that was stressful. And then I wasn't sure if he'd like stay even after I logged off. 
Because, I, I mean, I know animals do. It just, it scares me. <laughs> I just didn't want to chance it. So, yeah, I'm about to bring this baby back, and I don't know what I should name him. I need to look at some good cat names, because since I was playing um, freaking Stardew Valley, and I got some chickens on it, I haven't been streaming it just because it was got a little boring. Look at all these parrots. <laughs> Got a little boring at some point, so I didn't, I don't know what words are. <laughs> yeah, no, it was originally a little boring after I was streaming it, and then I got into it off stream, and I was like, oh wow, this is actually really fun now that I know how it works. <laughs> but yeah, so I was playing a little Stardew Valley, and I named all my chickens after, <laughs> well not after things, but I named them all puns. Like one of them is named um, Henicky, named after Kenicky from Greece. Uh, we've got Buckbeak, named after Buckbeak from Harry Potter. And then we had Shakira, named after Shakira. <laughs> so I'm kind of really into the, like, fun animal names. Yeah, so I'm about to lead my cat back, but I just thought I'd show him to you. I'm not entirely sure what to name him or her yet, but I will soon. Yeah, so that's probably it for today. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what I should do in the Logical SMP. I have a few things in mind, but I'm not entirely sure how I want to go about them, so I might save it for, like, a different series or something. But yeah, so check out my Twitter and Instagram. I usually don't outro this well. <laughs> check out my Twitter and Instagram. The links will be in the description down below, as will everyone else in Logical SMP. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!